We're delighted to have here in the ITU TV studio Dr. Dave Nabarro, the UN Secretary General's Special Advisor for Agenda 2030. Dr. Nabarro addressed today the ITU Council meeting in Geneva. Dr. Nabarro, you're very welcome. Yes, thank you. One of the points that you brought up in your presentation today was that every country is a developing country, and that's a key message of the 2030 Agenda. Could you please uh, tell us more about that? So this 2030 Agenda consists of 17 goals and 169 targets that were negotiated by all the countries of the world and then approved by their leaders in September last year, 2015. This agenda applies to every nation in the world. It's a universal agenda. And therefore, it's fair to say that every country is a developing country. And in certain areas, that's particularly important, like in Climate Action Goal 13, Obviously, some of the more advanced countries have got a long way to go. And for that reason, from now on, it's best not to refer to developed and developing, but to recognise we're all developing countries in relation to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. And one of the, the big focuses of ITU's work, of course, is bridging the digital divide. And through this work, we work with private sector and academia, as well as governments. How important is global connectivity to achieving the Agenda 2030? It will be really hard to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals and the 2030 Agenda without everybody everywhere being connected at all times. This is the only way in which it's possible to get full citizen engagement in development, it's the only way to get full participation right across the full spectrum of the goals. It's the only way that women, disabled people, refugees, people who are marginalised can have a chance of being engaged. It's the future of banking, it's the future of healthcare, and it's probably also the future of participatory development and political organisation. For that reason, that series of reasons I should say, being connected is key and there are currently around 40% of the global population that are not connected and that's why we would like to see everyone connected as soon as possible as part of the overarching fabric of the 2030 Agenda. And as we move towards 2030, we're of course in the era of the Internet of Things, the, the era of big data where everything is connected. How important will data, big data be in terms of driving progress for the Sustainable Development Goals? One of the challenges of these new goals is that measuring progress is going to be extremely difficult if we rely on traditional means of measurement using household surveys or individual connections. And using big data, although that carries some challenges, is probably the best way to go for some of the newer areas of measurement until more standard measuring techniques catch up. Now, we've been seeing some very interesting experiments with new data through, for example, the United Nations Global Pulse that ITU has been involved with, and also through other work that's being done in national governments. And I believe that that's a real frontier area. That's where ITU's multiple membership of having businesses, academics, civil society groups, as well as governments all involved, can be incredibly helpful because it's through that kind of multi-stakeholder work that the uses of novel forms of measurement will come into place and big data in particular will find its way into tracking where we are on the goals. Dr. David Nabarro, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paul.